Whoa, that was crazy! One more time. <laughs> Today is day seven in the Galapagos aboard the Natural Paradise, and sadly, it is our last full day here in the Galapagos. It's gone by way too fast. We just arrived at Punta Suarez on the island of Española. Just from the dinghy ride to the boat, from the boat to the island, we've seen seals, spotted eagle rays, pelicans. So Lots much of wildlife friends. already. There's a pelican and a baby sea lion squaring off. So since it's our last day, our guide Jaime got us up before the sunrise. We're over here on this island at 6 a.m. We have a three hour hike, which is our longest hike yet. It's supposed to be really good. We haven't we're even had breakfast. <laughs> we're There's making the most of our last day here in the club. What's up guys? So much love. This is literally right where we got off the boat, and now it's filled with baby sea lions playing everywhere. Oh! Our group hasn't made it very far because there are sea lions blocking the sidewalk. You'd think after yesterday we would have had enough sea lions, but they never get old. I still love them. This was the traffic jam, but it's okay because it's a tiny little baby. They have in the straw, they had a bomb. Like the so we finally had to pull ourselves away from all the sea lions, but we got to watch a little baby come back from playing in the water. And he went around smelling all the moms, trying to figure out which one was his. So he'd go up and nudge one, and they go, you go to the next one, and you go, Rah. Then we saw him find his mom and start nursing. And it was just the sweetest thing. I could watch it forever. They're so cute. So it is now 7.10, we got dropped off on this island over an hour ago. We literally got dropped off at the stairs which are like 50 yards away and this is as far as we've made it in an hour because first we watched the sea lions on the beach and then we spent the last 30 minutes watching all the babies play in this tiny pool. But I think we're finally making ourselves head inland.
We made it to our final destination, the cliffs of Punta Suarez. This is where the largest bird in the Galapagos, the albatross, comes to take off. They're very apparently uncoordinated because they live in the air or in the ocean for like nine months out of the year, but this is where they come to lay their eggs. And in order to have enough like of a runway to take off, they have to come to these cliffs to start flying. But that's in like December and April, so we're not here at the right time. We just walked a little bit further down the cliffs and found these huge geysers. It's crazy. Every time a wave comes up, there's this little crack in the rocks and it just pfft, so powerful. And there's tons of moss boobies, which are a lot like blue footed boobies, but not as cool in my opinion. <laughs> but there's little babies and they're super fluffy. It's cute. raining a little bit, it's overcast, and we're about to jump in the water looking for more hammerheads. to Gardner Bay where there are more sea lions and it's our last evening so I'm gonna take a billion more sea lion pictures and ocean pictures soak it all in Super fun and the rain stopped 
And now we're sailing two hours to the second largest town and island of San Cristobal, where we fly out from tomorrow. I'm really sad it's our last night, but we're celebrating tonight. All the crew is gonna come together downstairs and we're gonna have a toast and enjoy our last night. And until then, I'm looking for whales and dolphins and steering the boat. Yeah. <laughs> 